Today we're going to talk about the lumbar flexus and the lumbar flexus is a flexus that innervates the lower limb along with another flexus called the sacral flexus and the lumbar flexus will originate from the ventral rami of the lumbar vertebrae that's why it's called the lumbar flexus and the lumbar flexus will give uh, some important nerves that will innervate the lower limb so it goes like this we have a branch that's actually given from uh, the ventral rami of T12 which is the last thoracic vertebra it anastomoses with the upper uh, division of the ventral rami of L1 and this gives us two branches we have the iliohypogastric nerve and the iliohinguinal nerve so these are our two branches two nerves and then we have the lower division of L1 which will anastomose with the upper division of L2 to give us the genitofemoral nerve the genitofemoral nerve and then we have the um, lower division of L2 and the whole ventral rami of L3 and L4 these will anastomose in two ways we have an anterior anastomosis and a posterior anastomosis the anterior anastomosis will give us the obturator nerve obturator nerve and the posterior anastomosis will give us the femoral nerve also from the posterior anastomosis we have from L2 and L3 without L4 just L2 and L3 they give us the uh, lateral cutaneous femoral nerve or the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve so basically these are the nerves that originate from the lumbar plexus now let's see the course of these nerves in order to put things in perspective uh, we have the muscles like this in such a pattern like this this muscle here is quadratus lumborum muscle and this muscle in this region this is psoas major and the muscle that comes from this area and as the Moses with psoas major is iliacus and this part is the iliopsoas muscle so this is the pattern of muscles in this area and the nerves will be like this we have the obturator nerve coming from behind and it goes through the obturator foramen here this is the obturator foramen it goes through the obturator foramen we have the genitofemoral nerve passing in front of the psoas major muscle we have the femoral nerve coming from behind of psoas major muscle and we have the lateral femoral cutaneous also from behind of psoas major muscle and we have the iliohypogastric and the ilioinguinal nerves in the upper part so let's start with the femoral nerve the femoral nerve will have a descending course it will go through the uh, inguinal canal which is situated around this area and we have a pattern of the bundle we have three elements we have a vein artery and nerve so the nerve is the most lateral in this um, bundle it descends through the thigh innervating the skin of the thigh except for the area of the skin 
which uh, covers the femoral triangle and the medial aspect of the skin of the thigh. And then it descends like this and at the level of the patella it gives an infrapatellar branch and then it will descend through the leg and it will change its name into the um, saphenous nerve it will accompany the great saphenous vein it will have the same course and it will descend and have the same um, destination so this is the femoral nerve then we have the obturator nerve we mentioned that the obturator nerve will go through the obturator foramen and it will give two branches the obturator nerve will give two branches we have an anterior branch and a posterior branch so the anterior branch will give a cutaneous branch first it will go through or go between a doctor um, longus and a doctor brevis and it will give a cutaneous branch that will innervate the medial uh, aspect of the skin of the thigh and the posterior branch will go through a doctor uh, magnus and a doctor brevis and this is the obturator nerve so anterior and posterior branches we also have the genitofemoral nerve this one the genitofemoral nerve from the name it will give two branches a femoral branch which is a cutaneous branch that will innervate the skin of the femoral triangle the skin of the femoral triangle and it will give a genital branch that will innervate the skin of the penis and uh, the scrotum or the labia majora so this is the genitofemoral nerve we have the iliohypogastric nerve iliohypogastric from the name is related to the iliac region and hypogastric so the lower part of the abdomen so it will give two branches one of the branches will innervate the lateral lower part of the abdominal region and the other branch will innervate the uh, scrotum and the ilio inguinal nerve will give branches that will innervate the, the base of the skin of the penis or the labia majora finally we have the lateral cutaneous femoral nerve or the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve and this is the nerve that will innervate the skin of the lateral aspect of the thigh so these are the nerves of the lumbar plexus I hope it was clear and easy for you next time we're gonna talk about the sacral plexus so until then I thank you for watching and see you